Hey, hey everybody. Here is a interesting video. Today I'm going to show you how to retrieve a 3D model of a um, a medical 3D model of a MRI scan of a spine here. So uh, we can create and we can see the spine model here. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we have this program called 3D Slicer and it can open DICOM files. So DICOM files are sort of a scan slice of a person, an MRI scan, and you simply drag it into the software and load, just open this up, select the data, load the selection into the slicer. And this software is really interesting. It can load the different types of um, tissue in the body. All right, so when you load it, this is what you see. To show a 3D model, you can go into volume render and turn on, uh, select the volume that you just did, turn on volume and just click fit and give it a few seconds and we can see a 3D model of the MRI scan what what this data is is many things we can load in the bone bone data we can load in the bone data we can load the blood vessel and many other things so the bones you can load in um, the fat, see what that, that looks like. So there you go, that's the fat of the person there as well. So that, that's interesting. Um, so we just load the bones today. And switch to bones. All right, there you go. Today we're just gonna retrieve the, the spine model. All right, instead of loading the whole thing, we can crop that out. We have an option here to enable cropping. This play the region so these these balls here we can drag them and redefine the region so let's drag it here so we're importing this out as STL so we can 3d print that and also view it better in in another program so we're going to use Creo today let's drag that flat and Let's drag it to there. All right, there you go. That's that's good enough. We will we'll, let's uh, retrieve that model. So, um, so so that's in volume render. We have a range of modules here. We can go to crop volume to just crop the information to that region. So make sure you select the volume and crop. So when it's done, it will cut all the data into that area. So uh, let's hide the box. To hide the box, we'll go back to the volume render and hide that. Okay, once we have this selection to generate a 3D model, we would go to, you can go edit here, go to the editor or select the editor in here. So let's apply that. All right, so within the editor, we can assign a color for certain things. So assign the bone color and there's a range of selection tools, but there's this tool, which is based on the thread hold. When we do that, we can drag this slider and that will um, apply a thread hold on, on the tissue to select only all bones and similar um, tissues. So um, zoom in to zoom in, hold control and left click and drag. And just want to make sure you select the the appropriate things for your models. Um, just be aware this is not for me, um, clinical use. It's mainly for vis visualization. So. 
So it's, uh, the accuracy is uh, important. All right, so once you do that, to generate a 3D model, we simply click here, Make Model. Click Apply, and it will start to generate the model. We can go to Model Maker to see, um, see, see the pro program generating that. Once you're done, we can go Save. And just look on the bottom for... Okay, so it's, it's not showing up, so it should be a bone material here, so um, let's go back to the editor. So we apply the selection and let's try that again. So I think we just need to click apply. And select that, click apply and generate model. Give it a name, apply, start generating model, go to model maker to see the progress. Just click apply again to see that's um, been done. So once you do that, you have this bone VTX. We'll, we'll just load the bone, so tick that only, switch it to STL. And I'll click where you want to save it, I'll save it to the desktop. And choose that, click save, and just replace. And uh, go to your 3D CAD software, and just go to open, and go to your desktop, switch it to STLs, and we can load in the STL file. And there you go, we have the the spine model. So you can print that out and have a look at that. It's pretty, uh, see the shape and size and proportion. So, uh, so that's the tutorial today, guys. Try that out, see, see, um, see, 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 um, see how you can use that. All right, see you later.